Hello everybody and welcome back to G-Bear's Off-Grid Ways. And let's get right into this. It's not going to be a long one tonight. It's going to be a fairly short one tonight. And I had a, uh, another question from uh, a new viewer, uh, Misfit Acres uh, Dash Granny. So uh, she also sent me some information on some other things and I'm going to get right into this right here and show you what's going on all right so she found online the upgraded uh, one of this now this one's only 600 watts it's either 600 watts um, wind or 600 watts solar okay so it's one or the other it's not 1200 watts together it's it's either six or six now she found one that's the new upgraded model that's a 3000 watt unit and it comes with that big uh, load section so this would have its own built-in dump load right uh, built into it so you can set it up set up the uh, parameters to work with that unit okay now if anybody wants that leave me a comment below and I'll get the link over to you so you can um, purchase one it wasn't that expensive either it's under two hundred dollars so and that comes with both both pieces and you can it, you can use it up to um, 3,000 watts so that's a pretty good little system all right, and my batteries are, here goes that glare again. My batteries are full. 13.3 is uh, anywhere from 13.3 to 13.4 is full. So they're all full and ready to go for the night. So the question that uh, Misfit Acres Granny asked was, how did I hook up my Ames inverter to my electrical panel? So I have breakers and all of that stuff. Okay, so we're going to get into that. I brought this other um, sub panel out here so I could show you the where, where the wires connect and all of that. Um, now it doesn't matter that it's a smaller panel and it's not a meter panel or anything like that. All electrical panels are going to be basically the same components. So all, as long as you know what the components are for, and what wires go to what component, you can use any breaker panel that you have, okay? The only thing you want to make sure of is that you get, like this one is a outdoor enclosure, okay? And you can't use an indoor enclosure for um, outdoors because water will get in when it rains and short your system out, right? All right, so with that, Put, put aside right now let's get down to the um, inverter now this inverter is a called a split phase what does split phase mean well that means that it it can go one 120 volts or 240 volts and why is that important well for electrical panels Normally, you from the telephone pole that you have power coming in, you'll have 240 volts coming in. That's two hot wires and a neutral and a ground, okay? The ground is usually the cable that holds the wires up. They're wrapped around that heavy-duty cable, all right? So, that being said... This is a split phase, so I have this one outputs um, 240 volts if I want it. Or I could just wire it up for 120 volts, which it says right there. Okay, so it says 120 volt AC, 120 volt AC. Alright, now it also says 240 volt AC. That's because 120 plus 120 is 240. So that's where your split phase comes in. 120 plus 120. All right. So on this end of it, I have outlets 
for the wires. I have two hot outlets and one neutral outlet. Okay. Now it doesn't have a ground outlet because the unit itself is connected to a ground wire right here. And that ground wire comes around and ties into the wire that goes outside to a ground rod that's driven six feet in the ground. All right. So that's the first thing you want to hook up no matter what panel you're doing is you want to have a ground, an earth ground with a ground rod six feet in the ground and then a ground wire going to that. Uh, in your electrical panels, let me get the cover off of here and get the breakers out. Okay, in your electrical panel, you're going to have a place like down here, you see the two big lugs. Okay, those connect to this little bar right here. Down over here you have two more lugs. Now this is going to be your split phase. Phase one, phase two. Alright, so that's a hot wire and that's a hot wire. Um, how do they go to the, the panel or to the breakers? Well, if you look to the side here you can see metal on the back of this one and metal on the back of that one but not on the back of this one. Okay, so that means that this one and this one are on one phase and this one is on the other phase. All right, so that means that you can go 120 volts or 120 volts or you can connect the two together out of a breaker like this. This is one breaker, basically two breakers connected together. But you would, you would connect this into there, and it one side connects to phase one, and the other side connects to phase two. So that gives you your 240 volts. All right. Now. For your regular outlets, you would use a single pole breaker like this. And this would go either in this one for phase one or this one for phase two. But you only get 120 volts out of it. All right. So that's how it goes. Now, so these wires, the reds red and the black are the hot wires phase one and phase two so those would come in and go into here this one and this one the white wires come off of the um, inverter and those would go into either this one or that one they're both the same okay they, they, they just go underneath here and then this this little bar is connected to either one so this is where all your white wires are going to connect for your electricity in the house. This is a ground bar. Okay. Now how do you tell the difference between a ground bar and a neutral bar? They look the same, right? Well, they're not really the same. The ground bar, well, that's a, a lug. The ground bar, if you'll notice, is connected directly to the metal box. The neutral bar is connected to a plastic fitting that isolates it from the box. Okay, so it's not it's not connected to ground. That's because neutral also carries electricity. Your um, hot hot lines carry the electricity into the house, and then it goes over to your whatever apparatus you have it plugged in. It goes through that and comes back out. And it comes back to the neutral bar and then goes back to the source that's feeding it. Um, that's why it's called AC. It alternates the current. It's got to go in one direction and then later it's got to go in another direction. Uh, in DC, you have a hot wire to ground. So you have only one direction of flow. It goes uh, from hot down to ground, bottom line. All right. So that being said, 
you're going to have your your whites connected there. Here is where it's going to come to your your ground wire that goes to the uh, ground rod six feet in the ground. It's going to connect to that. And you could also connect it to this using a lug like this. You slide the lug over here, you put a, the ground wire in there, and you tighten down the Allen screw. And it locks the two together. And then that leaves this wide open for all the extra ground wires. So you can have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ground wires. So it'll handle seven cir circuits. But over here you only have four poles. So how are you going to get seven circuits? Well they do make single pole breakers like this that are called stack breaker. It's the same thickness as this but it's actually got a split down the center and it's got two of these little switches on it and it's two breakers in in the same space that it ta that it takes one breaker. So when you would put that into the panel by hooking it there and clipping it into place like that, that's locked in and then your hot wire goes in here. Now if it was a stack breaker you'd have two hot wires here, two screws, two hot wires and it would say 2020 or 2015 so forth like that. Your main breaker will always be a 240 volt breaker on this type of panel. And come on, fly, get off my back. <laughs> so this would snap in like that. And then you would have two hot wires coming out of it. Going to a 240 volt system. Like a big air conditioner or a water heater or your stove or something like that. All right. So all it is is 120, 120, 240 volts together, and they'll always have the the units clipped together with a clip like that, so it always works as one. On these, it's just singles. But you see the hole there? So you could have two of these put together, and then put one of those clips across, and you would have a 240 breaker, 20 amp. <laughs> all right. So I hope that explains it all. If there are any questions, comments, snide remarks, anything like that, leave them down below in the comments section. I'll be glad to get back to you. Now, for the last couple of days, I've been neglecting to leave your joke of the day. So today you're going to get three of them, right in a row. To start off with, the first is, uh, last night, the cops knocked on my door. I opened the door and I said, can I help you? And he says, yeah, we got a report that your dog is chasing a kid down the street on his bike. I didn't say a word. I just closed the door in his face. My dogs don't have a, a bike. Not None of them own a bike. Oh, I know, I know. All right. The so next one is... Where do you go if you want to weigh a pie? If you bake an apple pie, you bake a cherry pie, you bake a, um, a raisin pie, whatever it is. Where do you go if you want to weigh that? Well, you'd have to go to the Wizard of Oz. Why? It says so right in the song. Somewhere over the rainbow... Way up by. All right, all right, I know. Stop laughing, stop laughing. There's still more coming. All right. So, next one. Koala bears are technically not really bears. Because they don't meet the qualifications. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Was it? That, that got really bad, right? All right, one more quick one before I close off. I heard that uh, uh, Walmart is giving away free school supplies as long as you can outrun security. <laughs> I 
All right, don't tr don't go try that. Don't tell anybody I said you could do it. All right, thanks for joining me. This is G Bear signing off.